Okay, I just wanted to quickly show you how you can add uh, references in Word. This is an awesome tool uh, because basically Word then does all of the hard work for you. It retains all of your references and then at the end it will produce a bibliography for your references list um, using exactly the right format. So it basically takes all of the thinking away for you, away from you. So um, let me sort of just show you what you could do. So let's say that we put in this sentence, but I know that the information from this sentence has come from a particular publication. So at the end of that sentence, I'm going to leave my cursor there and I'm going to go to references. Okay. And so what you can do here, there's all sorts of different things that you do here, but it's this section here, citations and bibliography, that is the important one. And you can choose um, any number of different types of uh, referencing. Okay, um, I'm going to choose Harvard because um, that's the one that we often use, but a lot of, you know, it, it doesn't really, I mean, Harvard, Chicago, APA, it doesn't really matter as long as you always use the same one. So I'm going to use Harvard. Okay, and then I'm going to say insert citations. So what I need to do is I need to add a new source here, um, and you then choose what type of what it what it was so I'm going to say that it was um, a journal article and that the author was Emily Wooderson and the title was um, how to be a really uh, awesome biology teacher okay and the journal name was in um, Fantasia land and the year was 2020 um, and then, you know, how much of this you then include sort of slightly depends on what you're looking at. Um, and then I just go, OK. OK, and it puts that citation in for me. Then let's say uh, down here I had another citation. Then I go insert citation. And maybe it was the same. Maybe it was the same source, in which case I can click on that. Or I could add a new source. And this time it's going to be a book and the author is going to be, um, I don't know, Steve Jobs, and the title was Apple Computers, and it was written in 1995, and the publisher was, um, I don't know, Apple.Inc, and it was edition two, okay? And then I go, okay and it puts it in for me and I can keep doing this throughout my throughout my document now at the very end when I finished everything I've got all of my citations in you come here to the bibliography and you can choose how you then want it whether you want it to be called a bibliography or a references list I would intend to choose references and then you just click there and it adds it all for you in alphabetical order absolutely done as it should be with all of the italics in the right place and all of the dates and everything in the right place and so that way uh word does everything for you it remembers it all and you don't need to worry about it in the least bit uh what i'm not sure is if you were to then change that to chicago then it immediately changes it for you so then you could decide oh i didn't want to do that i wanted actually to have that style of referencing or no oh whoopsie no hang on I wanted MLA referencing um, and then it and then it does it it does it all for you so um, which I think is pretty awesome and I would uh, strongly encourage you to use this um, not only in your IA but also in um, your EE.